So yeah, making a little video log in my garden. Just sat out here, made a nice little space now. It's good, it gives me another place to go. Uh, I love watering the plants, uh, I love sweeping up, which is weird. And it's a space to come out and sit and eat and read and work and it's just lovely. So I've got my little sign there, welcome to my garden, which is probably back to front. And I've got some solar lights and a uh, little table and chairs and plants and things. <coughs> it's not the nicest day today, it's been really hot the last few days. It's suddenly dropped down about 10 degrees today, it's a bit chilly. But I just wanted to come out here and make this little video about being receptive because it's so important. And uh, I watched a video, well, it was an audio recording from Dr. Wayne Dyer, rest in peace. And he was talking about, you know, manifesting what you want and <clears throat> having the things that you want in your life and that life and the universe will basically reflect your beliefs. So you have to come at things from a place of abundance and from a place of gratitude because if you're going around focusing on what you don't have and what you need more of, well, the universe doesn't know how to give you a gap. You know, if you're saying, I don't have this or I need more of that, I don't have enough of this, well, the universe doesn't know how to plug that gap. But what it does know is if you come at things with a focus of gratitude because you're, you know, wherever you put focus on, that's what grows, that's what blossoms. So if you're focusing on what you have and what you love and what you enjoy and what you have an abundance of, more of that's going to flow into your life because that's where your focus is going. And I just loved this, this phrase that he came up with where he said, he was asking the audience, you know, he was speaking in front of a crowd of thousands and he was asking, are you receptive? Are you receptive? And it just stuck in my mind and I've kind of been asking a similar thing and saying a similar thing for years that you have to be open to things. But just that wording, you know, are you receptive? So I just wanted to make this little video to ask, are you receptive? You know, I've just, um, I've been working at home, did a bit of studying, did some pottering about, and I've just taken a look under the shop, it's very windy. And I was suddenly feeling very emotional, and I didn't know why. And I thought, okay, my instinct is to stay in and just stay at home, but I thought I'll take a walk and I'll be receptive to, you know, go out there and get some fresh air and have a bit of exercise and talk to a couple smile at a couple of people because I know lots of people locally and just you know be receptive to life rather than just staying in and kind of giving in to maybe negative thoughts or negative feelings or fear and that kind of thing so yeah anyway guys go out there and be receptive you know it doesn't have to be big things in fact it, it, it's rarely the big things that make a difference it's little little tiny things it's the people you chat to in the street it's the friends that you contact it's making plans it's it's noticing the things that are on the wall in a cafe, noticing all kinds of things. So go out there, be receptive to life, be open and make things happen. Notice what's going on, make things happen. And that's when, you know, little miracles happen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like. I'll catch you soon in another video. Cheers, everyone.